hello everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about how to beat a covert narcissist in his or her own game yes i had been getting this question in my mail and i thought that maybe i should make a video and help you guys out with the ways that you can beat a covert narcissist in his or her own game and uh, before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever i put out a new content now let's get going so as we know that uh, you know covert narcissists are very difficult to spot they are not like the grandiose ones the grandiose narcissists are easy to spot their behavior their gesture their way of looking at things and their way of reacting to situation and things i mean it, it it's quite obvious and it, it becomes very simple for anyone you know to spot them but when you know it comes to these covert narcissists so these covert narcissists uh, are very difficult to spot yes because they are so concealed they are highly manipulative and you know they they try and appear very vulnerable very victimized one very feeble one very fragile one and and they are quite vocal about it so you know uh, they they carry this persona where you know they narrate a story that oh i had been victimized oh i had been brutalized oh it goes on you know so they keep playing victim and they easily blend in so it becomes very difficult to find them now you need to understand that these covert or vulnerable narcissists and the grandiose or overt narcissists their goal is same their strategies might be different their approach might be different but their goal is same the goal to control you the goal to use you as their supply and the goal is to get that never-ending admiration get that admiration and validation from you so their goals are same approaches are a little different so when it comes to covert narcissists they are more into triangulation they are more into playing victim they are more into gaslighting and that is how you know they control you they try and you know manipulate and uh, make you question your own reality and uh, that's that's something which is very efficient or rather i would say these uh, covert narcissists are very efficient in you know gaslighting they will keep on playing victim oh you're doing this because i have done this you know oh you are doing this because i don't have money or oh, you are doing this because i have turned old oh you are doing this because uh, i was unable to give you this you know they keep on playing victim you know and uh, under that guys they keep on exploiting you and they keep on manipulating you they keep on guilt tripping you so the easiest way to beat a covert narcissist in their own game is to not react to their abusive and manipulative tactics try and understand they will gaslight you in order to make you doubt and question your own self so that they can control you so don't get carried away or don't get affected by their gaslighting terms like oh you had always done wrong you hardly cared about our image in the society oh you hardly care about my feelings you know don't go by this because that is you know being done to basically control you and manipulate you grandiose has a limited you know uh, way of uh, manipulating you and abusing you but when it comes to covert oh they they can be uh, you know coerts i would say are like an encyclopedia of manipulation they will leave no chance they will leave you know they they wouldn't hesitate in uh, you know uh 
playing victim because of their age they wouldn't hesitate playing victim because of their poverty they wouldn't hesitate in playing victim because they have given birth to you and you know they do all this to keep you reminded you know of the payback they do all this to keep you you know um, they, they do all this to guilt trip you so that they can control you and they can make you do what they want out of you so these covert narcissists do crave admiration do crave attention and especially from their supply it could be their kid it could be their wife husband friend anyone so don't react act abusive they can act crazy they can act victim don't fall prey just let them you know be just don't react it's quite obvious that you know we will get you know provoked and we we will have some emotions running inside of us and we would want to react but you need to understand your reaction is also a supply for them your reaction is like a food for them they are accomplishing what they were wanting to do i mean when you react so don't react be normal and usual if they are abusing you or trying to manipulate you say yes i was born with flaws yes i love making mistakes yes i cannot uphold the family tradition yes i cannot uh, uphold your respect in society yes i cannot agree to you yes i'm i'm the way how i am that's it i know all of it i'm at fault just tell them like this because the moment you start accepting it and the moment you start not reacting to the things they are going to hate because they they only survive on you know this attention they survive on that admiration they survive on your reaction i mean these covert narcissists so they would want you to you know break down they would want you to you know fall on their feet and say oh i'm so sorry if i made you feel this way because uh, you know their entire idea is to guilt trip you and get you to do things for them so that they don't have to do things yeah and uh, we can see that uh, this form of narcissism covert narcissism um, really destroys children i mean when a parent is a covert narcissist it's it's the most destructive thing that can happen to a child because the child is, is minimized the child is invalidated the child's you know credibility is robbed you know the child is constantly gaslighted and you know the child grows up with this doubt am i the wrong one is there something wrong with me why am i doing all these mistakes why am i unable to please my parent so you know in different kinds of setup it it happens in different ways so you know these covert narcissists basically you know to throw you off your balance and to guilt trip you and to make you feel guilty and responsible you know for making them feel bad and miserable is their strategy to control you so don't react don't react to whatever they you know throw whatever tantrums they are exhibiting and throwing at you and uh, you know they will go to any extent this covert narcissist will go to any extent to demean you and discredit you take help of triangulation they can take help of smear campaign to threaten you you know to hurt your image more and to throw you off balance so these covert narcissists can go to any extent and you need to understand and accept a fact that it's you who defines yourself not the narcissist uh, you know with whom you have relation it's not the others that define you it's you who defines yourself so you know don't uh, you know pay heed to their abusive tactics don't pay heed to their gaslighting phrases like oh you had been a bad son or oh, you had been a bad wife or oh, you had been a bad husband don't listen to it tell them if it's fine be with me if it's not fine 
you can decide what you want to do this is really going to irritate and hurt the narcissist so the entire drama is basically to control you the entire drama is to make you feel guilty and control you so if you don't feel guilty if you don't feel devalued if you don't feel minimized and invalidated that is enough so be your own teacher be your own coach be your own parent and just stand strong yes i have flaws yes i do errors i do mistakes yes i do you know care for my happiness first yes i am selfish yes i love myself first say all these things and see the you know color on their face change so yes sir, this is one of the simplest and easiest way to beat a covert narcissist in his or her own game and uh, I have mentioned this in my previous videos also in general avoid narcissists or cut off your ties but if it's quite difficult for you and there are more things at stake then try and draw boundary otherwise you've got to you know get away from narcissists be it a narcissistic parent be it a narcissistic husband wife whatever it's going to drain you it's going to empty you it's going to hollow you from inside here here everywhere you know these narcissists just don't care how you feel they don't know how to address to your emotions and emotional well-being all what they care is whether you are doing what they want you to do all what they care is how much you admire and adore them all what they care is how much you say yes to whatever they want out of you so any which ways it's not healthy to be around or to be in a relationship with a narcissist it's a very transactional selfish kind of a relationship yes so this was all about how to beat a covert narcissist in his or her own game and uh, in case i have missed in some point please feel free to comment below and please take care of yourself say no to toxicity say no to abuse and stay away from narcissists bye